Welcome back to the Hustle Continues Podcast. I'm Wayne Hayes. I'm Sam Quinn. And it gives me great honor and privilege. Pleasure and more pleasure. To bring (laughs) one of the most notable factors to ever emerge out the grimy streets of the filthy mode. Man, the number one hustler in the game, man. Put the, me in the game. The you know? independent game master. The, mm-hmm. Master. One of my game. senseis. Survivor. Yes, yes. Fimo Atlanta, Fimo Africa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Undoubtedly, uh, listen. It mm-hmm. could be Fimo China. Listen. Fimo China. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The illustrious brother JT, the bigger figure. Come on, man. Man, appreciative of the great introduction, man. My two family members. Come on, man. Come on, man. Listen. Proud of y'all, man. Yeah. You got the fucking backdrop with mics and lights. This ain't the fake one. This the real one. The real table. You know what I'm talking about? So y'all man. boys keep pushing, man. I'm happy to be here, dog. Absolutely, man. Listen, um, Right now, you you're on a roll. He's on the so road. You are on a roll. You know, yeah, everybody man. wants to talk to you. I'm okay. getting calls. People won't try to tap into you. Okay. Recently, you've been on No Jumper. Okay. You, you did a great job with that. Too. Great job. Great job. Okay. Great job. Okay. And great what's, job. The great what's the job, homie name? Uh, Weinberg. Weinstein. What's his name? The one. <laughs> Oh, Dave, Dave Weiner. Dave Weiner. Dave Weiner was re- speaking of you highly on uh, Big Court. Holding Court podcast. I've seen that. Yeah. <clears throat> Talking about how he uh, signed you initially. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I'm sure you have uh, a few more major platforms, but you're major. You know, mm-hmm. so it's like, let's not get it twisted when people approach you about being on their platform, you're adding a tremendous value. Mm, come on, man. You know, well, you I'm know, saying. being a very humble guy, mm-hmm. I always remember when I was trying to get on. So no matter who platform, if I got the time, I always try my best to lend my face mm-hmm. for them to to get whatever question. You know, because mm-hmm. every podcast got they, the thing they want to get out. But I just know the feeling of being independent and trying to get somebody to play your music for the first time, play it in the club. You know, going to a radio station, you know, trying to sell that product to somebody who never heard it before, but you're trying to sell them right. a tech. So, you know, me adding value, I'm thankful. But I can honestly say it's all based on my footsteps. Mm-hmm. Nothing that people like or whatever, they know, oh, it's based on actual footsteps. So that's the part that gave me the thing coming back. Like, man, I don't got to really do too much, but I do just to apply myself. But my footsteps undeniable. Whoever hates still, they can hate. But the footsteps is there. Right. Yeah, yeah. The, the groundwork. Yeah, the groundwork. The, ground yeah. the hard work. One of the things, one of the first things that we want to uh, express as far as uh, me and San Quinn as a unit working together, we mentioned that, Quinn mentioned earlier, he said it was a blessing. That y'all put y'all shit, whatever, whatever y'all had aside. Aside, he said a blessing. It was. Thanks. Come feel on, me? Just be real. And, and feel me? Thanks. My, my name, his Thanks. name come up everywhere. My name come up. It ain't Thanks. no shaking it. And that was, and I, and it, it hit because we was driving, and you know, we always talk about you, um, and he always holds you in the greatest of esteem as far as how you speak. Might not seem like that when you don't hear it, but I'm telling you, as a big homie, yeah, he yeah, always you know, salute me. The way we start is the way we finish. It's, it was family orientated. We both had something to bring to the table yeah. that assisted both of us to go further. Absolutely. Mutually. The hustle continues. Wasn't that something y'all did together? Yes, it was. Straight like that. Straight like that. The lab was a It came full circle if you really want to know the truth about it. Right. One of my questions that I have for you is give me two misconceptions people may have. About you. About the feed. That I need to steal from other people. Right. That's one. Mm-hmm. And that I'm stupid. Did you, 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 you nah, got these more misconceptions? Cause no, that's two for sure. All right, two. That yeah. I steal from people. Right. right. That you need to. That you need oh, to. Oh, I need to. Uh-huh. And that I'm stupid. Right. Because, you know, people found out that I only went to the ninth grade in school. So once that got hit the internet, I, I was getting bullied. 
bully, right? I'm like, well, fuck you niggas, baby. nigga. I don't give a shit, nigga. Yeah. yeah. So what, nigga? I ain't, nigga, I, I went to Log Cabin Ranch, and then I graduated from that school, which ain't a school because they let me pass, nigga. So, but that don't mean that I'm actually stupid. You found your calling when you was young. Once you yeah. find your job. Listen, yeah. there's about five different intelligences. IQ, EQ, AQ. SQ, and AQ. IQ, intelligent quotient. EQ, emotional quotient. SQ, social quotient. AQ, adversity quotient. Mm -hmm. School teach you IQ, but all that is is remembering shit, doing maths. And can recall it. And recall it. But emotional quotient, social quotient, the ability to assemble a team, keep them together, run personnel. Yeah, person. uh, it's the higher percentage that a person with strong EQ and SQ is going to hire someone with a high IQ mm -hmm. every day. I'm not a, I have a production company, but I'm not a cameraman. Mm -hmm. You have multiple, you have an app, but you're not an app developer mm -hmm. or a coder, mm -hmm. but you own the company. Yeah. You understand? Because yeah. you know how to put the play together. Come on, man. Listen. Come on, man. Yeah, you could far, be far from stupid. I got you. Yeah, but there was two definite mis misconceptions because yeah. every play that I bust, people got to look at it like, who's the author of the play? Mm -hmm. Who's the constructor of the play? Who's the executor of the play? Mm -hmm. Feed, feed, feed. <laughs> <laughs> Who thought of the play? Feed. Right. You feel me? Like, I don't run plays off another man play. Right. If I see a clear play that a man can show me, then I'm going to run that play. I'm not stupid. Mm -hmm. But the majority of everything that I did was something that was an idea that I'm like, okay, this sounds like a good idea. Let me try it. Mm -hmm. And then I do the best I could with each idea. Right, right. That's it. That's all you can do. Sometimes you hold on to the idea for a longer protracted. Sometimes you put the idea to the side, pick up a few more. That's what I think I learned how to do uh, early on. I mm -hmm. said, I don't got to be the best rapper. Right. But I damn sure better know how to make a beat then. <laughs> I right, better right. know how to mix this thing down. Yeah. Like, the things that I could do. Mm -hmm. I better learn how to like, hold a camera. Let me just practice. Let me buy a camera and just practice. It seemed like you would just grab that shit and you know how to do it. Because yeah, I was so hungry to just yeah. be like, nigga, I could be like MTV. I remember I paid 18 million for that camera and all I kept saying was, MTV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking in my mind, but I didn't have, I didn't understand how I could actually achieve it. I just figured by me having a camera, I could be like an independent MTV. The hood MTV and just show the hood then like yeah. where we at. Right. Man, one, one of the things that I, I really appreciate about you, because you know, I always say and hold my hand up in honor that I consider myself to be a student, an alumni mm -hmm. of the independent game university. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. I'm an alumni. Master class. A master class. I got the terminologies, transactions out of thin air. You feel me? In between Every, transactions. In between, between transactions. transactions. I my kids yeah. right now, don't yeah. say broke. Uncle Jay say, we're in, in between, between transactions. transactions. I'm not, never yeah. broke. Wow, that's you right. might catch me in between. That's right. You might catch me ahead. Yeah. 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 Everything yeah. must go. Don't fall in love with yeah. ISIS. I just, hold on. Let me show you. <laughs> I just show the public. Don't fall in love with items. Listen, <laughs> I just had a drum machine sitting in my closet, right? Uh -huh. I love this thing. Uh -huh. This is the Zaytoven special. This is the NPC. The NPC right? Yeah, yeah, I seen you. Was I looked online. They got a new one now that's white, right? Uh -huh. They got all, some, all this keyboard sound. This one don't got the keyboard sound. This one got keyboard sounds, and it's just phenomenal. Right? Uh -huh. So I was thinking, and I was looking at the machine, and I said, well, they're going to give me 700 for this right now, uh -huh. but they want 2400 for this. I'll be back for that. You can use this. You can use that to get to this. You can use this to get to that. This in public. <laughs> I don't care what type of money I ever made in life. This is a lick for me today. Right. I just want you to see. Right. right. Tangible goods for something I've been sitting on. This is real equipment, but I've just been sitting on it. It's wasting time. It's needed to be turned into this. Right. right. If I never get that one back, it's what I'm okay with. Right, because they got a new one that's hella fine anyway, so therefore I'll wait for a better time financially to spend the 2500 But to get this much money today, 
for, for, that, some, for something that's just been sitting, sitting there. there Collect, sitting there. So many of you have things that are sitting, sitting in Playstations, Xboxes, different things of that nature. That are just sitting Some there, things can go. bringing nothing to you. So you know, so, and then and then so, I see yeah. I see people. They might come on. I, I, I ain't gonna say his name, but one of the one of your old somebody you mentored. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times you can mentor somebody, but then when they get to a certain point. Like, they like they they, they you know you know how they say you created a monster. Yeah. So when you create a monster, then they talk against the Let's teacher, the teacher yeah. right? But he said, "Well, I see JT. He was pawning something. So I mean, what? I tell the people, <laughs> I'm the master pawner. That's who voted for the pawn. Man, if they don't get the hell up, man, listen. I'm from the world of man. If my if they if I'm trying to make an investment." Before I ask you or you for the money, right. I'm gonna scan my items. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Once I learned they got something called a pawn shop, I can bring this and this. Yes. Drop it off. Yes. Get the money, make my investment. Come on now. Do what I got to do. Come back and get this later with a little bit of fee yeah. on it. Uh-huh. Man, they can have that little fee. I need that money now. Right. Yeah. I'm not sitting on no product. Man, I'm right. gonna take it. I'm this. I am the master of taking everything out the house. Shout out to my wife, Tisha Boo. She understand it. Man, she, yeah. she, she went to play with me. Why? Because survival is yeah. first. first. None of this material stuff is more important yeah, than taking care of the family business. That's first. So I will say, uh, up, I will say that I, 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 that was one of the components, and that was a class. Straight up. Shout out, to, shout out to the uh, the African parent you gave me. Yes. That I liquidated. You liquidated. <laughs> I liquidated. That was a real one. A real? An African McCall. Listen. When we, was, when we was in uh, Atlanta. Yep. My wife says time for him to go. He was making too much noise. The bird making noise. <laughs> so he brought it. Didn't he used to talk? He used to say something. say stuff that don't have to make no sense, but he got to go. And, and he I brought all my brother. He brought him yeah. to me. And when he brought him to me. I was going to leave him at the gas station. He said, oh, no, no, no. When he, but when he brought him to me. We enjoyed him. Ha ha ha. He he he. But oh, a hard oh, moment came. A hard moment came. I said, it. what would JT do? And a little bubble and a little bubble popped up. JT was looking at this thing yeah. got to go. I got several bands for it. It's what? a beautiful thing. Several bands, because it was it was about eight man, eight bands. I think I got three. I tried to get four. You went for it, but you got some bands. Yeah. Bro, I always talk about that. I'm going to let them fly free, man. I'm going to let that. said, don't do that. I'm on my way. He said, yeah. don't come. Yeah. 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 He came and got it. With a big ball. ass. Yeah, the cage. The cage sold. The, the cage sold. Okay. Straight up. Straight up. So I just like to, uh, no. I'm one of them I'm one of them bosses that you didn't create a monster. I'm going to point people in the direction of the game yeah. when it's real, when it's valid. Cause I, it's a lot of people that can point their game to me. Mm-hmm. I can uh, uh, pass it out all the time. You, play that you feel me? So mm-hmm. I, I'm appreciative of uh, 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 what you bring to the table, King. For sure. It, it wouldn't have fun. been no baby, uh, a baby beauty magazine if it wasn't for no, mandatory, mandatory business. business. I'm just gonna keep this up. It was evidence that a street guy can do it. <laughs> That's the you first thing I got on, man. Gunner Goes Global, 100 million records, and you watching our uh, Hustle Continues podcast. We right here, man, some more of it. We on? Yeah, we good. We rolling. The, 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 West, the, the, the West Side Atlanta birds would have kicked the McCall <laughs> ass. It wouldn't have made it. It wouldn't have made it. <laughs> Was it that bad up there? Oh. Yeah, them birds more vicious, you know, and they attack when they feel the need to. Right, right. Yeah, like Golden Gate, how Golden Gate Park used to be. They come swing down on like, Yes. You gotta go like this. They got some of them. So so since we in Atlanta, um, as we know, I moved to Atlanta. We were out there at a similar time. 2010 when I moved to Atlanta. Yeah. You were in out to 2010. Yeah. Zayton yeah. was out there. Yeah. Your experience in Atlanta brought you to what realization? about the independent game and music in general. Is that this shit work anywhere in the world? The shit I got mm-hmm. from here, yeah. 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 it worked out there perfect. So right. I had to do the self, meet a new nigga, go to their hood, don't be scared, treat the motherfucker like you want it, come up with your own dough, pay your own way, be the man with the idea, be, present them with the plan, your plan. Uh-huh. Because they had a plan, but I didn't come for their plan. I already knew about the plan, and that's for this. Your plan finna take a long time. This plan I'm on, boy, we finna make some motion. Right now. Hell yeah, you waiting on a deal. I'm talking about boys doing it independently, getting some plays going. Mm-hmm. Straight up. Uh-huh. So I like that. I, I found 
cut out too. Yep, that that shit go whatever. somewhere else and make some shape because uh, I seen Wiz Kid. I reposted something he posted the other day. He said, "This dude from Africa, right?" Now Wiz Kid, the one. No, what's his name? Wiz. You know Wiz, the one that beat Snoop Dogg. Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Kid. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Listen, he said, "Do you know artists that you need at a certain point? You need to leave your area." And go make a your face again somewhere else, mm-hmm. right? Because back home it's gonna look even bigger because you already did home, but to do it somewhere else and catch any motion that is gonna look good, right? On your resume, uh huh. Because you went somewhere, and even if you stayed one month, like when Mess moved to Arkansas, or wherever the hell he was at, Kansas City, and he would stay for so many months, yeah. By doing that. He was building a, a, a fan base. Yes, and a family orientatedness of these niggas gonna always remember when Mess stayed right there with us, or he was at this auntie house with us, or yeah. you feel me? Because being an artist is one thing, but when a motherfucker be like, I seen him, I know him, I talked to him, I was around him. Those are things that make the artist, or I mean, make the fan go harder. Right, right. You feel me? And then when your people see you somewhere else, and they look on the gram and see you somewhere else catching motion. That's pure motivation to the man who ain't left yet. And right. it also increase it increases your value where you are. Cause right. as long as you standing next to the man in your neighborhood, he's never going to see the value in you. Even if you become it says famous. in the Bible, a prophet will go out our praise in his own country. Right so, there you go. So that's that's, that means. that's oh, first of all. Man, boy, they hate you more than <laughs> wiggle. And here's another thing that applies to moving logistically but it also applied to reinventing yourself within the same construct of something you're doing for example you go from being a rapper to a podcast host hello from a rapper to a film director you you still you, you you're not wasting your name and likeness now right, it's right. still tied to you uh, it's right. another version of you it's another mm-hmm. product it's an alternative income source Mm-hmm. To be able, the ability to shoot a movie on the iPhone and then find an investor or a person that want to buy your film because they the one taking it to two. I got five bands, mm-hmm. I got seven bands, mm-hmm. I got ten bands. Mm-hmm. Shit like that. I done cashed out. Man, I done shot this shit. Edit. It could be for me, but bro, would you? Yeah, if you want to buy that, we own that one. Uh-huh. Straight up, straight up. And now they going to go bust their play, but they got the benefit of having me in it. I shot and edited the shit. Yeah. And I heard you say that you gotta have Straight a movie up. now. A movie me. is the new rap game. It shows your day to day life, man. It could be funny moments, it could be sad moments, it could be vulnerable, it could be pain orientated. Fiction with a little bit of nonfiction. Man, listen, fabricated, like I just told that girl. I say, you could film your first movie and it could be about what happened to you in one day. Right. Right. How many problems can a man have living in the Bay Area in one day? Boy. Hell of fucking problems like yeah. training day. Remember training day? Yeah, uh, yeah, that was one day. He gets shit in the morning with his wife and kids. The movie start. They watching the news. Okay. The next scene, nigga, he had a fucking coffee yeah. shop. Yeah, yeah. The next scene, he in the car going through the, the worst shit of his life. Smoking crack. The boy getting yes. crack. But so. his whole day <coughs> was full of bullshit. No, I was not kidding. The day was one day. Almost oh, his training day. Had to kill. I mean, everything. All right, so let's can do that same thing. That was one day. That's all I'm trying to say. You don't even got to change your clothes. You can film all day starting in the morning all the way to the morning. So when I asked you the question, what was one thing that you learned? (laughs) It was that this game is good wherever you go. How did, I, I, I don't suspect that that changed when you went to Africa, but what was the barriers, if any, that you encountered when you took your game to another country? Language. Mm-hmm. Language was the first barrier. Mm-hmm. The ability to communicate give you more power. Having a translator for the first 15 months when I got to Burkina Faso is because French is the dominant language and then Moray is their local language and then English represents two or three percent if somebody could talk back to you. But having a translator, I felt empowered. But I knew at a certain point, we're about to this nigga get tired of being with me every day. I want to raise his prices. Or anything, like, my everything is tied to this nigga. Mm-hmm. So when I seen that I didn't have that power, that's when the thought came to go to Ghana 
<clears throat> Ghana maybe. And then I talked to Seth Singleton, the owner of Black Market Records, Jack mm-hmm. Leno. Mm-hmm. And then he said, man, I'm in East Africa. Why don't you come over here? They talk in English. It's easier. You can move around. They, they, they fuck up with the rap shit. Boom, boom, boom. I go on my first 48 hour and I say, boom, I found it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nairobi, Kenya, I found it. And it's a city that looked like our cities and it got the hood shit, but it got the city shit. And it's just. Well, no, it's no, we can't. It felt normal. Yeah, speaking English okay. dialect okay. too. What what uh what would the current JT tell the younger JT as as a uh, any any uh advice? Well, you? Uh, yeah, you was ill for going to Africa too. But I gotta say that you know, feel my homie. I love you. I said JC man. I always say that about you. Right, right. I said, China too. Is. China too. But we'll get into that. Yeah. What would the older JT tell the younger JT? Make more product. I knew the value of making a bunch of product, but the, I would tell myself, now double up whatever you did. I did 20 projects in 94. Once I learned how to make a beat, mix it down, yeah. record it, take it to Rocket Lab, yeah. man, drop yeah. it off to get it manufactured. Man, I must have been doing a project every two weeks for the whole year. But just the excitement of making one back then was so great. So big. Then about five, so six, hard. seven of them. That concept didn't come to when I did Players in the Game, dropped November, and then we dropped GOP April 18th. 94? 94. So that was like a three month. We was on fire. Yep. Then mm-hmm. two months later, yeah, I did Yo Shit, or Gaff, or Demo, Rich the Factor. Then was, that was the lineup. We started Kansas City Rap. When you. When you. One an, another notable time that they try to sweep under the rug, but was when you executed the discovery in some way, and the product of the game. Mm-hmm. How did you know to execute it, and what 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 gives you the bravery? to execute some things that people can't even see. Because mm. first you gotta see it, then you have to know and be certain enough within yourself to do it. What gives you the bravery to do these kind of plays and transactions? Um, well, dealing with the game specifically, that was just the gift God gave me. I seen 400 rappers and I said, this the one. I had eight rappers with me, but God showed me. Mm-hmm. This him right here, take yeah. him back home with you. Yeah. You had eight by. with you. You heard it. Eight with me. I said, this the next guy for the fucking West Coast. He right here. Mm-hmm. And he was. And then I threw a show for him in field mall. In field To bro. introduce. Mm-hmm. Because some of me said, nigga, this him. Now his spinoff, that's part of the story too. But the beauty of it, I never lost the gift. Right. Of who to work with. I never lost the gift of pinpointing the play off my available elements. Maybe this artist, this producer, this studio, this little few dollars right here, the phone number to this, phone number to that, phone number to that. What's that? These is assets right here. Okay, I don't have no income right now. I don't have no play on the table. Okay, now I must arrange these assets right here to create a play to get some money. Mm-hmm. Because you know, did the same thing? Same thing from the beginning to now. You have to create something. Yeah. Right. If I didn't get J Mac to do the fucking song and go to G Man stand to get uh, putting it on the map, take the. Mm-hmm. But I can remember the process of getting it done. Like now, I'm trying to hurry up and get. I want a tape out, mm-hmm. but I can't get a tape out until I get the songs done. Right. And then paying for the songs, and then having to book the studio time and all that shit. Just that longer, you know, it took some months to do it. But I, once I was able to do that, I said, "Damn, this was just me applying myself." And then whatever little weed money I might hustle up, I could pay for some studio time. Or you feel me? Like yeah. I, I was applying myself, I was applying the dollars. But in my mind, I said, if I get a tape off, nigga, I'm gonna be somebody, nigga. I don't know who. Yeah. Once yeah. I got players in the game, when I went to Showtime store, like, boy, look, I got it. Got that word. And he cashed you out? Right there. Mm-hmm. Business these sandwiches, bitch. Yeah. And then, then the, the yeah. game, you saw that process the work. Animals. Then fast forward years later, you in Atlanta. And I personally witnessed future. For real. Some work with some collaborations and and, and it told me about future early. early. You better get with future. Uh who else? Thug. Young Thug. The Migos. The Migos. Even even artists 
that that may or may not have got beat. Trey Carver, Kevin uh, Gates, Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates. Who else? You fucked with Dolph, didn't you? No, man. Yeah. Dolph, he, he in some of my video footage, but we didn't. Do oh, that. the the, the uh, yeah, uh, uh trouble. Yeah, man. Rob, yeah, yeah. Gates, trouble. The the duct tape. Duct tape. All of them. Yeah, yeah. Alley boy. Alley Alley boy. boy. Uh-huh. Yeah. See, some people as a as a as a boss and a CEO, you, you, you got to be willing to spend your budget. They should have been gay J. They should have been gay Jason means to be an AR. <clears throat> you know what? They should have been did that. But I think that would defeat the whole purpose. Yeah, you know, because if they give me the means to be an AR, then I lose everything I built so far. Like for me to get the means off what I got is yeah. better than what they give me. Right. What you got and what they give, mm-hmm. who was the difference? Mm-hmm. Right. What you got determines the value. What they give is what they determine. Right. And you give up something. I'm not saying I wouldn't take some money, but the thing is, that never was offered because it's known he is black power. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. he is into telling his community what is his, to do the right thing. That's what he told we me. We cannot let him get nowhere, yeah. no power. <laughs> But like, far as me saying, Quinn, I'm a rapper. I've been a rapper. I'm not a gangster. None of that. I'm, I'm a family man. I got f- five kids, four that I raised, and one rap baby. That's a whole story, but it's my daughter. Uh, he taught me how to be a man. Like, you know, have kids, have a family. That's how I've been surviving. All my friends in the feds, they did. I, I went to a good name is better than gold. I learned that from Elijah Muhammad. So, with Jay, I didn't get nothing else. I got the teachings of. Uh, of Islam would save my life. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, you would get some game that's save black people, and that's what we're about. So, uh, you, I think you would take the money and do what you want to do with it anyway. Yeah. You did, but I understand what you're saying. Like, control is the biggest thing. Mm-hmm. My biggest test was priority records offered me an additional 250000 for my copyrights, but within that contract would have been the the ownership of the name JT the bigger figure mm. get low record like you feel me like uh, yeah. so I was kind of more scared I wanted the money mm. he took it and they became better because they own something deeper and so 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 that's what the team didn't know me to like man I'm gonna bundle some shit that gave them incentive to push your shit but you we still I still got my shit because you didn't sell that you didn't to this day we eat off of that because you didn't sell out so thank yeah. God you did yeah because yeah. it counted out and Master P came and went. I was, we still ain't came all the way up. We we factors, but you know we, we, we mean something. Yeah, yeah, we mean the something. Biggest man. bubble is if you still alive and free. Yes. and not in the hospital. Look at Bob. He he you already he's a winner. And free. Yes, sir. Um, you're not in the hospital. You got your mental capacity. Mind. If you got that, because you got friends that lost their mind. You know, and we all being attacked mentally, spiritually, yeah. financially, all the time. Every aspect of attack that's available. We up under some form of it already. Right. So dealing with that shit, we all deal with our pain different. Right. And me dealing with looking at, damn, I come up with shit and I get playing like I did something wrong when I was the mastermind. You feel me? Yeah. Like, like constantly going through that or starting something and then getting cut out. Yeah. But I always said, this is not bad. This is what I learned from the minister. None of this is bad. I actually, all of this is good. So if something that I'm part of have exceeded and then hit the rooftops of this game, then I'll just be patient and wait my turn because to get it later is going to feel way better. And if I'd have got all this money back then, yeah. in my older years, now I'm goddamn down. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, I know no, exactly. no, so no, I think no. I'd rather just say the first would be last and the last would be first. Yeah. I'm one of the last ones to get to that type of status. Yeah. And you still and it's still fresh. Yeah. If it's I hit the fresh. 10 million right now, that'll break the internet. If E40 got 10 million right now, it'll be news. It's, it's, it's regular. Right. It's regular. 40, you already got 10 million. He okay. did already. If Snoop Dogg hit for a hundred million, Snoop Dogg signs new hundred million dollars, that'll be cool for the internet. If JT do a deal for a hundred million right now, a lot now, of dinosaurs as possible. That'll be because it's like that's the super underdog. Super underdog. Right. Right. Super. No matter about whatever good be, he still ain't cheap. All of them things that he been part of to be to help them. So whenever that happens, but guess what I say? Surviving machine gun bullets is a gift from God. The money, fame, and fortune is that's great. The gift of God giving me my life 
giving me the heart not to be scared or go to any hood, any country, whatever it is that got to do with me doing something positive, why should I be scared? Now, if I'm going to do crime, steal, lie, finesse, judge, anything that is not proper, that's when the fear should be in you right. to go in these places. Right. Right. I never went in nobody hood in Frisco or the Bay, LA, no place in America. With the intentions of bad shit, right. I went as I'm gonna be their servant. I'm gonna be the one they could lean on. I'm gonna be the one. I'm trying to offer something. I'm yeah. not buying my love. I'm not buying no pads. Yeah. I'm coming to network. Right. But in my networking, I know I have more than you in certain elements. Let me make that available. Right. That's what made all them gangs and gang members like, man, we fuck with feed. Yeah. Feed put our little homes on. Feed helps the nigga get distribution. Feed call who to who. Yeah. Like it's. You didn't. It's you the simple, too many it's, it's yeah. the simplicity of simple things that that go a long way mm -hmm. with strangers and you and they fucking neighborhood. Exactly. Like giving somebody gold toes number direct and you talking to a nigga in one of these cities and then he finally get the deal go to. Yeah. That means something, boy. Yeah, That's what hell yeah. yeah Man, something. I've been calling guys, I've been calling and then you plug me. So <laughs> you your resume of the things you do for somebody else is actually your bank account in the future. Right. Straight up. Your yeah. resume of what you did for other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's like a future bank account for you and your. Well, that's all I did. What did she do? Right. It's put people right. on. When you try to feed mama's babies or homeless, I don't care if you only did it once a month. And you say I'm gonna take a hundred dollars out of whatever I get this month. Yeah. I'm gonna buy this water or this food, and I'm going out there, and I'm gonna make sure they got it. That investment is really investment into you. Right. Because one day you gonna be in a position. Well, you mean well, so? You and your family gonna need some, and it's only gonna come through God blessing off some you Every probably already time. did. Right. Every time. That's a game for those people that were always wonder why being always with homeless people. But mm -hmm. man, I found out some secrets. Boy, I can't wait to feed some more homeless people some next chance right. I get. Right. Right. Coming soon. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, and it ain't for the camera. That's just me showing what I'm doing that maybe you should you do. It way more times. Than, you yeah, know, this ain't camera. even, this ain't for car for me. I'm doing it, and I'm just showing this is my motion for the day. Right, right. Yeah. It's, a, it's a cop, right? It's a cop, yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Very commendable, very commendable. Man, shit. Uh, I know you're working on some, because we've had some talks behind the scenes. You've got some major plays coming up. But uh, what, <clears throat> before you leave, I'm not asking you to go, but before you do leave, tell us what state is Trap Flicks as we know it. And where is that for the people? Trap Licks is officially back launched July 8th, 2023. Mm -hmm. Apple is in the store. Uh, August, the Android version is available. So now it's iPhone and Android. Right now, we have a number of films on there right now. About to load it with a bunch of more films. But before we load it, we're going to do an update to the app. With the functionality, how it looks, the skin colors, and all that shit, I wanted to update it. The hardest part about the app in Traffic was getting it built. Mm -hmm. The next hardest part was getting it to be accepted to the i the iPhone world. And Andrew, like you got to present. It's like shh, sending your demo. Yeah, they can say nah. You feel me? Your shit ain't right. So uh, shout out to the people in Kenya who built my platform for me. They created new things one line at a time. Mm -hmm. Software is codes and numbers. So when somebody be like, Bill Gates bought some codes, mm -hmm. he put a name on it called it Microsoft. But he bought it from a developer dude for 75000 put a name on it, presented it to IBM, did a deal for fucking $20 million, not too many months later after that. He bought it from, bought it from him. him. Yeah. Knew these people needed something like this, found somebody, put a name on it, did the deal, Non exclusive, yes, you guys got it, but I can serve it to the rest of the he world. He leased it to him, he leased it to him, and hit for millions. He said, Lisa, right, right, right. I'm leasing shit. Hey, listen, and he, listen. Was, he, he was smarter than this Steve Jobs on that place. Steve Jobs was like, I'm gonna make superior electronic products. Steve uh, Bill Gates said, I'm gonna make my software available on every computer that come out, right? Right, across the whole world. you gonna want <laughs> that's yeah. or. I'm going to put my computer software on all the computers before they even come out. And I got to get my royalty and my my, my payment per computer. Mm -hmm. But the royalty license fee for that computer per year. 
So the people who doing these projects, they gotta kick him down some nights if, right. if, if that's all they still use it. Yeah, yeah. That's how um, similar to how uh, the guys over at Gager, mm -hmm. yeah, they yeah, came yeah, up yeah, with yeah. the Gager rating application, system. the rating yeah. system. At first, they had it try to use it just in music, mm -hmm. but then they was you know the rate music, that shit was moving too slow, mm -hmm. so they saw that they could use that rating system on a lot of different things. So yeah. they diversified. And shout out to people over at Gage. Yeah, Gary Archer and everybody else over there. Oh, yeah, shout out to Gary Archer, too. Yeah. yeah uh, I forgot. I can't think of the other brother. The, the light skinned brother. Yeah. yeah, that's my guy. Started. You know I know you, brother. You yeah. my guy. We can't think of your name right now, but we Absolutely. know you. Well, man, it's been. Uh, Let me say this before you end that. Right? Come on, let's go. The Africa introduction, I'll call my, my situation with Africa. The introduction to us having an optional place to go, I recommend. I recommend that you get your passport for you, your girl, okay. your children. Mm -hmm. I recommend that. Mm -hmm. What I seen in going back and forth every month, I'm going back and forth, it felt like I was flying to New York. I had got so comfortable. I'd be on my live over here, then a few hours tomorrow, bam, I'm in Africa. Because the time changed. The, 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 the part where I'm saying this, is I show people yes. that it can be done. Yes, I started did. by myself, then I brought my wife and children. Mm -hmm. At a certain point, they went back, but I stayed to continue. What I found, the cheapness and the quality of living and food alone. If you go over there with $5,000, you can pay your bills for six months off of $5,000. But that's unheard of over here. So Ooh. I'm saying some of the black families might need to take a break. Even a black man who need to detox from being a black American. Yeah. I think I got to detox from the yeah. niggaism. Yeah. The 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 watching yeah. on my back, the gun, the you know, yeah. you're trying to I think everybody ought to get yeah. shit me in America. Yeah. That's how I think. When I don't I don't feel like this when I see a white man, but when I see a black man. I mean, I'm trying to see what check what what, what his temperature is because we don't know. It's like reverse racism. <clears throat> yes, we looking out for each other, but going to Africa, the cheapness of buying land, to buying the animals, to starting a business, to pet to, to having a two three bedroom for three hundred dollars a month overlooking the city. These prices not being promoted to the Black American. So I want to just say mm -hmm. that because some of y'all might say. Baby, let me, kids, we packing up. We going over here to Nigeria. We going to Kenya. We going to a place I've been researching, you know, or maybe the, the family member went one time to scout it out. Yeah. We getting up out of here. We don't want to deal That's with That's our birthright, right? right? Yes. Earlier, earlier we just That's talking about. That's our birthright. Yes. Earlier we just talking, talking about, about the mother. what yeah. do you need to go besides a passport? A passport and going online to the country and ordering your visa. A visa allows you... 90 days, six months, a year, and longer. Mm -hmm. 45 bucks in 90 days, I think that's a good investment. Mm -hmm. Now you can go for 45 days, I mean for 90 days from the time you land there. So what you pay for your visa. What about any other medical? Do you have to take some shots? And, no, no, no shots, don't do none of that. Mm -hmm. Don't do none of that. Don't do none of that. Okay. Hell no. Nah. Any place telling you that, don't go. Okay. Hell no, nah. you're gonna be the guinea pig. Right. Over there, they was trying to do the guinea pig pack, and they start paying people to take the vaccine, and that's what made me know. I said, "Oh, this shit's some other shit." But I didn't take no vaccine either. Pan 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 they paying you. Then I heard they was giving out three fives a week over here to take the vaccine. I seen that. They giving out eights. Giving out eights. The first hundred people come today. We got a doctor here at the weed store. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, everybody. They know they with, the, with, the, with, the, with the weed store. All the people I heard that went to, they went to the hospital and got on that respirator, they died. Every person I know that got on the respirator, and yeah, they, they kept us from talking to each other. Everybody who I know went to the hospital and got on the respirator, died. Yeah. It was killing motherfuckers, man. Nobody died at home. Everybody died Nobody at home. Nobody died at home. I'm taking hey. garlic, ginger. I'm not going to get water. Garlic, ginger, uh, turmeric. Turmeric, turmeric, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. 
Yeah, that, that's yellow, yellow, that yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Keep you alive. And man. raw honey straight out the bees' ass. Yeah, you know, I get raw honey. Crispy, that little crispy. Mm-hmm. Crystal, 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 so that. yeah, I'm, I'm glad we was able to get together. I I, I know for, for for certain this this won't be the first time that you see JT. We gonna grow and we gonna bring him back. Uh, we got other work to do. There's more to do. As a matter of fact, we at the studio right now. We might whip up some other uh, mm-hmm. stuff right now. So it ain't no telling. But we 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 appreciative of you being here, homeboy. Love you know, know love, nothing man. but love. I'm proud of you. Yes, sir. Everything. Yes, so I got it going. I said when I seen the background and the lights, the lights, the camera, and too much, too much. I saw, I saw, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shout out Rob Mac. Yeah, shout out Rob Mac, man. Yeah, Schemo Films. Schemo Films. Schemo Schemo Films. Out, man. And everybody who has not been here yet, I think, you know, don't put yourself on a pedestal. You know, come and add your your, your story. Come add your face. Oh, Why is it better? Why is it better? Because once, you know, when, when things get more exposure, it's harder to, to get in. So to, to even have your 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 interview done will be good for you just so that you know that's something for you to do, especially if you're in the Bay. What is you doing for your career today? You should contact these good folks right here so that you could come and get this done. It's, come on. It makes sense. You heard it first from the field. Especially first timers that never even been interviewed before. Come, on. come kick your, your career off. That's an invitation coming from me to you. Cause right now they going places, the numbers going up. You see Wallo get it, the kid doing their thing. This is this is our version out here in the Bay. So y'all support. Yes, sir. Thank you. And man. I got a shout out to homie Zay Tobin right now. Zay, what's uh, up? Who else we want to shout out? Anybody? We gonna shout out to homie Fricasso because you got all his gear over at uh, Dying Breed. Oh yeah, Dying yeah. Breed. Yeah, 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 it's Dying Breed. Yeah, yeah. 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 those are brothers. brothers man. Uh, Royal Retro. Feel me? Yeah, that's about oh, yeah, Derby, Derby. Derby's going to make these. I don't Derby. know. Yeah, yeah. he's probably cool, man. But. Yeah, they got a couple of these up there for you at Derby. Yeah. Yeah. You can see them yet on Hate Street. Uh, Derby's real Derby's. You know, Derby's. Yeah. Dr. Drake coach. Yeah. All right, we, mm-hmm. we, we talk to y'all the next time. The hustle continues. Man. Hustle continues. Yeah. 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 yeah.